am a first-generation academic, um, and when I talk to other first-generation academics, there seems to be a common thread, which is we had a parent who's a school teacher. I was always interested in science in high school and at university when I started college, I was actually pre-med. So in the U.S. you do pre-medical training and then medical training, but I quickly became disillusioned and I learned pretty quickly that what really interested me was the unknown. In the early 90s when we were studying synaptic plasticity, we happened upon a finding that suggested that proteins are made way out in the dendrites. And over the years, we and others have basically supplied lots of supporting data, which has indicated that these locally synthesized proteins are important not only to allow synapses to change, but also for their ongoing function. So it is a very important source of protein for synapses. And so, you know, it went from crazy idea to now being a field of, in and of itself. I, like many other people, are interested in social behavior and, and in dominance hierarchies in animals. And so my graduate student, Lucas Anisar, did a very simple experiment. He isolated fish and isolated them for variable periods of time. And what we discovered was a very small number of genes that are down-regulated in response to social isolation. But the really interesting thing that came out of the study was when we tried to figure out how the fish were sensing others. And what we discovered is that they're physically feeling the other fish. Winning the Febs Embo Women in Science Award is a huge honor. It's an honor for two reasons. One for acknowledging our science. I also find it extremely satisfying and important that efforts by me and by everyone else um, to diversify science are recognized. And I always tried to fight the battle not just for myself, but also for women to come, like acknowledging that I wasn't just solving my problem, but trying to change the system in a way. When I think about combining family and science, I, I think of it more as, you know, an, an opportunity in a way. It's certainly challenging. There are huge challenges on your time. You, one can feel that um, both family and science are disappointed in a way that, you know, you're not doing anything well. But I, I try to always keep those kind of feelings at bay and more focus on, you know, how wonderful it is to have the incredibly rewarding experience of having a family and children, but also to have an intense and satisfying and passionate career. Thank you.